So next we're talking about a gotcha in the scheme that actually happens to me all the time. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you what I did at first and screwed up and then fixed it. Is if else conditions are pretty easy to figure out from your previous experience, but it's actually the statements after it that can really ball us up. So we have to be very careful that there's two different, there's actually more, but there's at least two types of statements that we're going to have after the condition like we have right here with Boolean A, rational, and else. It's either going to be a function call or some type of basic value that we may want to return back from the function. So the interesting part is this is what I did at first. I'm so used to parentheses, I put parentheses around everything. That's a problem. Here's why. Parentheses, parentheses around all of the things after or else and stuff like that. I tried to run it and bam, it gave me this and this is something for you to remember. Operator is not a procedure. And I thought, you know what? They're right. This was a Boolean as a string. It's not a procedure. It's not a function. So how I fixed it was <laughs> kind of know where the parentheses aren't. So if it is a function, like this one right here, this is a division function, fine, leave the parentheses in. But if you're just trying to return a, a, a string or return a Boolean or something like that, those aren't functions. Just return them straight out without a parenthesis and Scheme will be happier with you. So notice I did this exact same thing, the same as the left side and right side, worked perfectly. Uh, this one, uh, I don't know why I didn't put in there, but gave me an answer of 11 divided by 2, then 12 divided by 2 is 6. But again, the important part was, is where is the parentheses? They're only around if you want a function to happen after our condition has been determined true. So heads up. So now we're moving to our ifs, kind of else conditions here, is that remember in Scheme, we have an if condition, which is nothing crazy, but the if takes care of both the true and the false portion of it. So by default, an if statement in Scheme is if else, just the overall default construction of this. Now, when we put that into perspective and with the parentheses issue that I just talked about, we also have to worry about the spacing of when the true portion happens and when the false portion happens. So here's two functions in Scheme that I created, and then these are the functions called it later and it actually running, is that in response and num response, they both have an if else condition in reality. One's looking for a Boolean, the other one's looking for a rational, but notice in the response, here's our true section here that's popping up. That's our true section. There is a separated space of that highlighted green portion and then the false portion. Now, notice there's no parentheses in any of that because, well, this is going to return a string and this is going to return a string. We just talked about if it's not a function, it doesn't need parentheses around it. In the num response, we do have a function. It's going to be a multiplication function, receives a value, multiplies it by 10 for some reason, but that is for the true section. But notice for the false section, it's back to a string. So even in the if else, we can mix up our return data types from that function. So be careful on the overall structure of the true and false, which that's the easy part, but understanding that space in the middle and when to use parentheses are all very, very important.